We've been looking over the last few weeks how to deal with contained feelings and how we can work to let them go in a safe way. Who wants to live with those feelings just beneath the surface? It's not a great way to be. We just end up living on the edge. And that's an uncomfortable feeling to be living with all of the time. And if we're not careful, we end up letting them out in ways and situations we haven't intended to. In the blog bubble, we looked at a few ways to work to let those feelings go in ways that are safe for us. Today, we're going to look at another way that can help us. Firstly, what we have to understand is whatever we do, instead of containing them deep within us, we'll be sending those signals to our inner mind that we feel safe to start that process of letting go. Doing this alone is an important step in changing. Another way to help us achieve lasting change is to just take some time and sit down and write down what has upset us and how we feel. If it was someone that hurt or or upset you, it's good to write them a letter explaining how they hurt you and how you've been feeling since that happened. Often in situations from the past, we maybe don't feel that we can talk to that person that hurt us or even that those people aren't even in our lives anymore. So writing to them is a great way to help us come to terms with things. Of course, if your issues are too overwhelming, then you may mean that you may need to seek somebody like myself um, to help you work through those in a more supportive way and on a deeper level for you. While you're writing down how you feel or the letter, it's important to be really open and honest about how you feel. Remember, this is a private way to express how you feel. I wouldn't be expecting you to let anyone read them unless you wanted to. Often, the most important things in coming to terms with an issue is not about what other people think or feel. It's about how we think and feel. If we leave things churning around within us, then it can grow, get attached to other people and other situations and stopping from living a full and happy, positive life. The letter you write can strip down all the things that you've been carrying from your mind and bring them into reality. As we relook at these things by writing them down, we can start to look for new ways to help us come to terms with things. It's not about what's happened, as this is not happening anymore. It's about how we feel about what happened that is the key area that needs to change. By taking the time, you might be able to find a new way of looking at what happened and find that positive submission of the things that we can't change. If you're writing a letter, then it's worthy after it's written, considering the, the reply you might have got if you'd actually sent this. Looking at what the other person might have said to you, again, may help you bring things into a new perspective over this. Another way then is to think about a friend coming to you for advice with these letters and then telling you what happened and how they still feel. Take the time to think about how you would advise them and and their perspective onto things as well to again give you another viewpoint. Take the time to think about this and write down the advice you would give them and how you would offer support to help them deal with that situation. Then leave all the letters for a day or two and every night before you sleep, just see those letters in a balloon, letting them go, watching them fade away into the distance. Our minds are amazing and the messages we send by doing these things that seem quite simplistic is actually quite powerful. Your mind never switches off and never stops listening. 
it's 90% of your mind capacity. So when it starts to change, it can be profound and powerful. After a few days, it's time to get those letters out again and take another look. If there's still lots of emotions that are still there, use the emotional releasing approach in bubble. If it feels a little easier, and that's all you need to do to have started to having moved that from being contained within you to a changing and healing experience instead. So do the same again and use the balloon technique and then this time leave it for a week or so. Make sure you make a note in your diary and set aside time to come back and revisit this. If again it feels better, then do the balloon technique again and leave it for another couple of weeks. If it feels a lot easier than when you started, it's time to fully let it go. Set a time in your diary when you'll have some space and time to do this final part of letting go. It's time to burn the letters and set yourself free. Make sure you find a safe way to do this. Outside is best, in a non-combustible container, away from anything else that could catch fire. You might want to start a mini fire first and then offer the letters up to the fire and ask the fire to transform them into ash. You can send forgiveness and healing to everyone who you want to, and obviously it's your choice completely. And of course, don't forget to send that to yourself. Take the time as you watch the smoke start to come out from the letters then you watch the letters burning and imagine the feelings and memories in your mind turning to smoke and that smoke plume is drifting out of your mind and even your body. Then for a few nights as you go to bed again, imagine the smoke is in the air as you're heading to sleep and you just keep wafting it away from you until the moon or the sun comes out and the air is clear. Do that for a few days until it feels a lot clearer in your mind as you think about the smoke. Remember your mind takes actions and images on board in a powerful way. Let this journey to change be profound and powerful for you. Do remember when we're letting anything go to fill that void. So make plans to do some fun things that make you laugh and smile. Thanks for dropping by. Have a great day.